Hey, this is Sanjay with Lies in Marketing. I hope you guys are doing well. So how do you use Helium 10 for product research? Well, let me tell you this. There are several ways you can use Helium 10 for product research. As we go through the, the courses of how to use Helium 10, I'm going to share with you so many ways, my friends, so many ways that... <laughs> Okay, but product research plays a very important role when it comes to selling on Amazon or anywhere in the world, in the e-commerce world, in a brick motor shop, mom and pop stores. So product is the king. One right product with the wrong metrics can jeopardize your profits. Okay, so everything needs to match. So I'm going to show you just the basics until I get really deep into each of these tools that Helium 10 is providing. So in order to do product research, you go under tools and you do right here. See, it's right there. Black box. Black box is an amazing tool. Really, you can play around with it. I, I always play around with a lot of it. Uh, you can go and choose over here the category and the subcategory that you want to sell. Now, let me tell you something. If you're ever planning to launch a product, stay away from products under $30. Just stay away from it. Why? Because they tend to have the highest competition. Now, if you're new to Amazon and you're looking for a product to sell to have at least 25, 30, 35% markup, you definitely want to stay from products, especially between five and twenty dollars because the profit margin is not that good enough in that location. And of course, they're volume sellers. But in order to be volume sellers, you gotta have deeper pockets. All right. So that's how simple it is. So stay away. You want to make profit? Look at products above thirty dollars and much above. And let me tell you, there are a lot of products that are demanding above thirty, fifty, eighty, ninety, three hundred bucks that a lot of Amazon sellers don't know about. And I'm going to go with you step by step every product that you want to concentrate on so you can make money, you can differentiate your product. I'll, I'll share with you techniques, what you can do with Amazon and make it really work harder. In fact, while we're there, so let's look at Amazon.com. Let's uh, find... Uh, product. Let's say we look at anytime you launch a product on Amazon, make sure it's under a couple of pounds. You don't want to be too heavy. You don't want to be too bulky because, you know, any product that's too bulky, too heavy, your FBA fees tend to rise really high. But if you decide to go after such products, then again, there's no competition because nobody wants to sell it, right? Because of those high FBA fees. So you have no competition, but if all the metrics is right, then the algorithm is going to work like magic for you on the Amazon industry. And that is how you can really, really make some good money. Okay, so black box, let's look at it. I'm uh, just going to run a couple of uh, tests for you to understand. So let's look at the automotive industry. And you want to sell, let's say, interior accessories. Okay, so we can concentrate here. Now, the number of sellers. How many sellers do you really want to target a product in order to do? Now, if I go interior accessories and automotive. So, for example, I choose here. And I choose this one. And I write interior accessories let's see how many we got well we got 50,000 results so that's the amount of competition you're facing to to make it really precise I'm going to tell uh, okay you know what I want to sell a product where there's a minimum of five sellers or maybe you want to keep it as low as possible five ten or under so I'm going to say minimum of five sellers with a maximum of 25 sellers. I don't want to go more than that. What price you want to be under? Like I mentioned, stay away from products under 30 bucks. If you want to go products under 30 bucks, you got to 
you got to increase this because it's not going to happen. The, the metrics is not going to add up. So you want to go, let's say, $35 to max. That's about it. Simple stuff. The more you do, the more, you know, uh, filter it is going to become. But I like to keep it very simple. And let's say the minimum, the maximum I want to do is two pounds. Let's find a product that has two pounds. You can also uh, go further on this, but let's see what products does Helium 10 recommend based on, on those metrics. Let's see what we can get. And through that, we can work it down more further. So let's look at it. So we got 500 items where you have products that you can actually sell and make money okay uh, going from here you can still filter it down to see how much competition is there what is what is the volume sale what is that now there's one trick i'm going to tell you that you really really want to look into it and that's called the bsr ranking which is called the best sellers ranking anytime there's a launch on amazon okay anytime there's a launch on amazon the product is brand new and if Amazon does not recommend it or if there's no value to it or if there's no demand, anything like that, but it could be a winning product. It could be a winning product just that nobody knows about it. If that's the case, then the one thing you want to look over here is the PSR rank right here. Concentrate here. Look for products with the highest BSR ranking. Because you know what's going on over here? You see, look, the product is listed at $42.92. There's zero monthly sales, okay? And then if you look at it, there's no revenue. There's no revenue means either the seller who's selling the product has no clue what they're doing on Amazon. That's what I think. Or the product is completely new and doesn't exist. So there is like a winning product right there for us, okay? There's basically a winning product right there for us. Let's see. And who's the seller? Amazon itself is the seller for this product. So this product has been launched by Amazon themselves. But there's no metrics. So is Amazon that? <laughs> that they don't know what they're doing. But, you know, look at it. It's a large standard product. Now, look, even though if it's an Amazon seller, it seems like it's a, it's a private seller who has given Amazon, um, you know, authorization to do global seller for them. So it seems like one of those because this product being two inch, two inch, like, like this much, and weighing hardly nothing has been listed under large standard size. Something is not right here. Something that these guys did within their listing did not do it properly. So this doesn't add up. This should be actually in a small standard size or even lower because based on the weight. So something there is not right. The best sales period, well, they, they don't see any sales at all. Uh, number of images, here you go. They just got one image. So there you go. There's a big mistake that this seller is doing already. Sales to review, nothing. So let's go and have a look at this product. What exactly is this? person selling so we're gonna do this and we're gonna go to amazon so you see this is how product research is you can really catch things i never go after the lowest bsr ranking because those are the ones that are going to probably have the majority of sales and the majority of competition but now we're looking for product research so when we're doing product research we want to make sure that we are going to end up finding the right product. Okay, so let's look at the product right here. So this is what it is. It's a 6-1 gauge diameter, uh, quick car racing product, sink, blah, 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 water pressure gauge. Okay, water pressure gauge. Um, to make it go further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure to, to access the Helium 10 extension. Once it's accessible, you can go here and you can do Amazon X-ray product research. But what Helium is going to do is they're going to further research this product and it's going to tell me more about this product. If there's any competition, what's going on? So here we go. You see, 
So again, we see the same results. The ranking is very, very high. There is no revenue whatsoever. The, the, the sales price of this product is $48.93. Okay. The fee, Amazon FBA fee is 11. So you're looking at a very good profit margin on this product. So if the guy is selling at, let's say, $49 and I have FBA fee is of $11. So the, the, the overall sellout cost is $38. Now, $38, what do you think this product is costing? In my assumption, probably a couple of dollars. So there is a very, very good markup. Now, in, in Black Box, it wasn't telling me how many sellers there were. But in X-Ray, it's basically telling me that there are 13 active sellers. Now, think about this for a second. If there was one seller, I could understand there's no sales. But 13 of them selling this product? under the same under the same you know metrics something is not right here means from my point of view those 13 don't know what they're doing on amazon either so is that good or bad for us that's excellent for us because now we found a product just like that we just found a product we know that the whole metrics is written in the wrong way so that's a gold mine so we research you know, we take it and we research further on it. So this is the dimensions, five and a half by five and a half by five inches. Whereas here, now look at this. Here it says it's a two inch diameter. So it's this. So why is the packaging, why is the packaging so big? You see, now what you can do if you decide you want to sell this product, you can minimize the packaging to maybe three inch instead of five and a half by five and a half by five. We can make it do three by three by three. Guess what that is going to do to you? Number one is going to reduce the weight because even that extra two inches has some kind of weight. And the other thing that is going to do is when you change the dimensions, your size tier changes, which is a very good thing because if when that changes, your FBA fees drops drastically. So if this fee becomes five or six or four fifty, now you save nearly fifty percent off FBA fees. Now, just give you a brief explanation of how FBA fee fees work. Okay, let's say you sold a thousand units of this, paying this many fees, and let's say on the other hand you're saving four fifty five dollars. Four fifty five dollars per unit selling thousand of them is almost forty five hundred to five thousand dollars net profit in your pocket would you rather take that or give it to fba because of silly mistakes you're doing uh let's take it on Amazon. so you know these are the things we really really have to consider let's look at the product further let's see what mistakes they're doing i'm going to take it really really further and most of the videos i'm going to do i'm really going to talk a lot about each and everything all the details about the listings so you get to understand how to really do a listing. Now, the first image is beautiful. Now, if you look at it very carefully, you will see that there are some missing points. You see some white dots. That means looking at it from the original, it looks good. But when you zoom it out, you see those white dots on the zero and the five, you see? You want to make sure that the first image you're launching is crystal clear invest the money you want you can even do it through photoshop hire freelancers you want freelancers i can recommend you a few of them some of them really amazing amazing ones i've worked with you want us to do the images for you we can do it for you okay uh, my price is very very competitive so we can really get it done for you so as you see you see the first image is like a first impression. It's like when you go on a date, <laughs> you gotta show that first impression. Otherwise, if you blow that impression, that's it. You're no good, no matter how good you are. All right. So that's very important. Now look at the look at the mistakes. Well, let's talk about the images. That's just one image. Amazon recommends you have you to have seven to nine images. So that's number one. That's one reason why they aren't selling this product. Number two, over here, the dimensions. You see, now we're getting three, four, five different dimensions. 
Now here the dimension it says that the item is four by seven by two point three inches. So where does five by five and a half come? If it's five and a half by packaging, then something here is not right. And then here it says four ounces. Four ounces like that's like a quarter. So the weight should be like about a quarter pound. And in the other one over here, the package weight is 0.42. So something does not add up over here. Uh, about the item, 13 sellers are selling this product using the same product and doing such a bad, <laughs> terrible listing. So that's, that's like a win-win right here. I mean, it's been launched, but, you know, it's been launched for such a long time, but nobody's making money. It's a good product, but nobody is seeing the sales. Look, it went down. Even a million is a lot sales rank. So definitely, definitely, I would look further into this product. I would definitely look into this product. Because something somewhere is not right, okay? Something somewhere is not right on this product. You can see other people have also launched this product, you see? Other sellers have also launched. This seller is doing really, really good at $13.97. So that basically shows, says that this product is way, way, way overpriced way overpriced but if it if it meets the quality and everything then after fixing the listing you can definitely definitely make the sales so that's the thing so you see like this again let's look at another another product in this one okay 8272 they have only sold 10 units so this is also one of the products that you can go after because there's not a whole lot of monthly sales you know, when it comes to selling on Amazon, even if it's this much price range, you should easily sell $25,000, $30,000 worth of products easily. If they're not doing that much, then definitely something is wrong over there. What is this right here? <clears throat> Wrangler shift, shift handles. So you see, there's, there's a lot of stuff. And if you take it even further, if I take the filters even further, then it can really, really, you know, so bestseller rank, let's say the minimum we make it 5 million. Let's look at that. From 500 products, let's see how many it comes it down, how many it lowers it down to 67. So I know that all these products here, there is a win-win situation here because none of these sellers have no clue what they're doing on Amazon. And I always say this, man, 97% of Amazon sellers do not have a clue what they're doing on Amazon. So your competition is not the 3%. Your competition is 97% of those sellers because if they don't know what they're doing and you know what you're doing, so you win. You have a win-win situation there. All right. So moving forward, I'm going to talk more about black box, about X-ray, about all the features that Helium 10 has to offer. So you and I can be very, very successful selling on Amazon. Once you become successful selling on Amazon, then we can grow your business to more e-commerce platforms, Google, TikTok, YouTube, everything, you know, like Facebook, Shopify, eBay, Etsy, you name it is there. But it's, it's, it's one step at a time. Because Amazon tends to grab 72% of the e-commerce marketplace. So this is your main place to launch. You become successful here. Then we go after the other knickknacks. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sanjay Vadwani with Lies in Marketing. Thank you. Bye-bye.